What is dirt made of? Dig deep, unearth some dirt, hold it in your hand. Dirt is a mix of different parts of nature. Crumbling rocks make up dirt. Wiggling worms and scurrying bugs live in dirt. Rotting plants and bones are part of dirt too. Fun fact, dirt covers almost every place on earth. Sometimes you can't see the dirt because it's covered by grass, buildings, roads, or water. Soil is another word for dirt. Put some soil into a big glass jar and fill it with water. Stir and wait. The soil will separate into layers. Rocks and pebbles fall to the bottom because they're the heaviest. A lot of soil is made of rocks. Fun fact, dirt is so interesting that soil scientists study it every day. Sand, silt, and clay are all tiny pieces of rock that make up soil. The layer on top of the rocks and pebbles is sand. Grains of sand don't fit closely together. Water runs quickly through the spaces between them. That's why sand is so dry and why sand castles crumble so fast when waves wash over them. Use a magnifying glass to see the rainbow colors hidden in sand. Each grain has its own color, black, tan, gray, red, green, or purple. Silt is like sand, only silt's grains are smaller. Grains of silt fit more closely together and hold more water. Silt makes up the layer on top of the sand. Soft, sticky clay has even smaller grains than silt. You need a microscope to see grains of clay. Clay is almost like powder. Clay is what, what made the water in your jar turn cloudy. Fun fact, clay can be red, yellow, white, tan, gray, black, or blue. People use clay to mold mold beautiful plates and bowls. You might see flecks floating on top of the cloudy water. That's the dark and gooey part of soil called humus. Humus is made from rotting plants, leaves, woods, and animal matter. Sticky humus helps hold the ro rocky parts of soil together. Humus is rich with food that plants need to grow green and tall. Fun fact, soil is different in different places. Garden soil is soft and clumpy. It is a good mix of humus, sand, silt, and clay. Forest soil is often damp, full of humus from dead leaves. Soil in a muddy riverbed is soft with silt. Desert soil is sandy and dry. It's alive! There are millions of creatures that live in soil. Beetles, sow bugs, millipedes, and worms wiggle and crawl through the dirt. Other creatures are so small that you can't see them. These soil creatures are called decomposers. Decomposers make humus. They eat dead plants and then leave droppings. The droppings are like vitamins for the plants that grow in the soil. Fun fact, as plants grow in soil, they use up the food in humus. Decomposers put more food back into the humus. Animals can make soil better for plants in another way. Squiggling worms, trailing snails, slithering snakes, and burrowing rabbits loosen the soil as they crawl through it. They ma make holes in the soil that let air and water reach the roots of thirsty plants. Fun fact, after it rains, you can see worms wiggling along the ground. The rainwater has filled up with the empty spaces in the soil. The worms have to crawl out to find air to breathe. Humus, water, and air are usually found in the upper layer of soil. This layer of soil is called topsoil. It is the best soil for planting. The roots of plants hold topsoil together. Plants and trees cover topsoil so it won't get blown away by wind or car carried off by rain. The loss of topsoil is called erosion. When topsoil erodes, plants have no place to grow. Fun fact. When plants use up the food in topsoil, people can replace some of the food by adding manure or chemicals. Depending on dirt. Dirt keeps us alive. Without dirt, plants cannot grow. Without plants, animals cannot eat. Without plants and animals, people would have no food. Dig into dirt, pile it up and stomp it down. Let it squish between your toes. Let it sift between your fingers. As you walk along, remember all those incredible bits of nature holding you up.